Club of Brighton and I'm very excited to be sharing with you today about the Bayside Art Show. Now the Bayside Art Show is iconic for Melbourne and for the Bayside area itself. It's well renowned for its art, for the function itself and for the amount of money that it raises for causes and for the Brighton Recreation Centre. I'd like to introduce Norm Thomas, who is the chairman of the Bayside Art Show Committee, and he's also one of the directors of the Rotary Club of Brighton. Hi, Norm. Hi, Katie. Great to be here. Yeah, thank you, and thank you for coming. And then, of course, next to Norm, we have Rob Draper, and Rob is the manager of the Brighton Recreational Centre. And for years, these two gentlemen have been working together to make the Bayside Art Show bigger and better every single year. So what's some of the history of the art show that's so well renowned? Well I guess the show started uh, some 45 years ago and it was initially uh, a fundraiser for the Brighton Rec Centre and uh, we're on the manager and uh, the show was first held at the centre and then it moved as it, as it grew it moved to the Brighton Town Hall and that's when the Rotary Club became involved because we uh, needed an enormous manpower to uh, organise the show at that stage. And then in the last few years we've uh, moved the show down to the Sandy Yacht Club, uh, which is a, just a fantastic venue. Well, it is. In fact, that it's been told to us, not by us, but to others outside the club, that we probably run the best show in Victoria when it comes to um, not only the art, because um, out of probably you know, over 2,000 paintings, um, is we that know, how many are on show? Over? No, what happens is we actually have probably over 2,000 paintings um, that we look at uh, that people want to put into the show, the artists, but we only can only select about 600 paintings. So we've got the best of the best. Um, and, uh, and the artists, which Rob can tell you about, um, are some of Victoria's and Australia's finest artists. Yeah. In fact, we've even had overseas artists, I believe, in the past. About five years ago, uh, if I can mention that Mercedes-Benz Brighton actually came on board as our major sponsor. So, and having them as a sponsor for Sandy and Rock Club also, it means that, uh, you know, it's just a nice nice sort of a mm. triage of um, yep. organisations that, that are able to run the show. Yeah, it fits in really well, doesn't yeah. it? Mm. Actually, it's worked out in our favour. We, we certainly aren't the biggest show. Uh, there's others who are bigger, but we believe we have the best selection of art, okay. and, so and even the artists say that and, we're high quality best show. Yeah, so in other words, come along and yeah. have a look and put, put a new piece of art on your wall, that's for sure. And bring your cheque. Yeah. And bring your cheque. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Rob, tell us a little bit more about the artists and what the process is for Okay, selecting. well, look, when I think back, we had uh, some very, very famous uh, local artists. We, uh, Kevin Taylor was uh, one of our first prize winners and very well renowned here in, in the Bayside area. And, um, uh, but back in those days, the show was, it was a different type of show. It was a show where we, we hung something for everyone. So, but now we have quite a select group of artists every year. The likes of Craig Penny, Lorraine Burns, uh, Ern Tremba, Lydia Saconti, Greg Allen, Joanne Seabury. So a lot of very well-known names in Melbourne, prize winners from lots of shows. And um, I think the biggest thing is that we get a lot of people uh, from the local community come to see the show and the first thing they do is they say, wow, so don't miss out on coming along to this incredibly inspirational and iconic annual event that is run by the Rotary Club of Brighton in partnership with the Brighton Rec Centre. You'll be helping to raise a lot of funds for our local Bayside community, Brighton Rec Centre being one, and of course many other causes. Um, there's nothing like contributing to the lives of others, but also you get to have a look at some incredible artwork by some well-renowned artists and of course it gives you the opportunity to purchase some art and uh, redecorate your home. So as Rob earlier said, it's a win-win-win. So from the 17th to the 21st of August, Sandringham Yacht Club opening at 11am each morning. We would love to see you there. All are welcome and come along. So check out the Bayside Art Show website to see the closing times and the different range of events. We'd love to see you there.